Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to be going through an Etsy shop critique. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And for if this is your first time here, I go through these Etsy shop critiques every now and again where I will go through branding, aesthetic, um, titles and tags on two listings, as well as promotional images um, to try to drive traffic to a shop, increase sales, and hopefully increase that elusive conversion rate. So um, hopefully y'all will get something out of this, and hopefully this will help the shop owner uh, reach their goals of making semi-passive income with digital downloads. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join up the Facebook group with the link in the description box below where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. So I'm going to head on over to my computer screen and jump right in. Um, today we are going to be looking at Burl Wood Home, which is stylish and affordable home decor. She has a really nice banner up here and a really nice logo, which is fantastic. Oh... The first thing I noticed is you have a song lyric and I'm hoping that your shop is not littered with these because it is a copyright issue. So copyright and trademark is a big thing. Um, you do not want to use movie quotes, song lyrics and things of that nature because it is infringement. Your shop could run the risk of getting shut down. So you really want to make sure whatever you're creating is not infringing on this. Okay. Um, while it is um, kind of desirable to go down that route because you will get more sales from something like this, uh, you do run the risk of getting your shop shut down, potential fines, things of that nature, and that's just something that you do not want to deal with, okay? If you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. Um, there are some videos on my YouTube channel about trademark and copyright that you may want to look into, and I also have some blog posts on that as well on my website. So I do highly recommend that you check those out, okay? But I do really love the way that this banner is. You know, you're showcasing your work. It's on some really nice mock-ups. Um, you've had 24 sales. I'm gonna go ahead and click favorite shop here. And you've been on Etsy since 2020. Uh, you kind of opened your shop, I guess. It looks like at the end of December, you're having 70% off all instant download printable wall art for a limited time. Um, and you have your shop section set up with words and baby and kids. Um, you may want to consider um, expanding that a little bit more. Um, you have really good mock-ups here. I will say that this one is really hard to read, so you may want to change that. Um, same thing with this mock-up here. Some of these, when you have that white on white, are really difficult to read. So you want to maybe lean towards mock-ups that have like a darker background, so it's really popping that white. Especially with the way that the shirt, Etsy shirt search, oh my gosh, has changed. Um, if you haven't known about that, Etsy has changed its search to be more contextual. I do have a video on that and I'll post that up above so you can check that out. And basically what that means is the short story is they're taking into account what a user is doing on Etsy to show them things that they're more prone to buy. Okay, so they're kind of jumping on that algorithm bandwagon finally um, and getting into that new technology. So to be able to appeal to your customers, you want to make sure that your promotional images are really going to stand out compared to everybody else. To, so you really need to think of what's going to set you apart. If it's hard to read, people are going to keep scrolling. And I'll tell you what, on these right here, like the be nice and punch stay in the face, um, those are really difficult to read. And so I would just continue to scroll. Um, same thing with this uh, Taylor Swift, which is definitely... Um, a copyright issue. So yeah, I see a lot of the things that you have on here. I mean, you have Robin Williams, Lady Gaga, Dave Matthews, uh, uh, looks like Dirty Dancing right here. Um, yeah, Dance Monkey. I mean, this is going to get you in a ton of trouble. While it, again, it is desirable to do, uh, it is not something that I recommend doing at all. Okay. So I do recommend getting those listings down and creating some new ones that are original. All right. Um, but you do have a uh, really nice work. So we'll say that. Um, I have chosen two listings to go through. Um, looks like your price points are good. Um, I mean, when you're 70% offing like this, you're not gonna be making any money off of, off of these. Maybe a little bit off the $3.59 ones, but when you're looking at $1.36, you're not gonna be making anything, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you really wanna think about the Etsy fees. Uh, for processing fees and transaction fees and listing fees that they're going to take out because if you're not making any money It's not gonna be worth it for you in the long run even if you're making a buttload of sales, okay? You'll continue to stay in the red. So I did choose uh, this kitchen is for dancing digital print 
Um, this image is really hard to read um, because it's so far back. You really want to have it kind of like this one isn't bad. Um, you do have your ratios and printing sizes, which is good. So that tells me that you do have, um, this is a good image, that you do have a lot of different uh, sizes that people can choose from. Um, let's see, this kitchen is for dancing, digital print, instant download, kitchen art, digital art, kitchen, home decor, funny art, funny. Okay, so you've definitely keyword stuffed your title, which is not something that I recommend. Um, I know other people do swear by it. I do not. I think it is, it looks bad. Um, Etsy does not recommend this. They want listings that are, sh uh, listing titles that are short and to the point to describe what the product is. So in this case, um, this, this kitchen is for dancing. Digital wall art would be a good first keyword. Um, kitchen, wall, printable wall art, um, and then maybe one other keyword. I swear by the three keyword method. I will post that link up above to the Etsy listing tag planner where we go through that three keyword method and hopefully that will help you. But you definitely want to optimize that title because this is, it's not looking too good. Okay. Once you optimize that title, you want to copy and paste it <clears throat> and put it in the beginning of your description. First and print as many times as you like. You'll see five high resolution PDF files that you can print in several sizes up to 30 by 45 inches, giving you so many display options. Please see the size chart in the photos. <clears throat> I do recommend put. not everybody's going to scroll through all the photos, so I do recommend putting the sizing options in the uh, description. And if you go look at how to size digital wall art video that I have that I'll post up above, um, I go through an example um, shop where they have it all listed out. You just want to do something similar to that because it's a lot easier for the customer to understand than looking at a uh, promo listing image, which they may not look at in the first place. Okay, <clears throat> print at home. You can bring the USB uh, to your local print shop and use an online service. This is a digital download. How it will work? Read more about it. Uh, check out similar listings, bestsellers, <clears throat> which is blank. I'm not sure why you have that here. Um, back to your shop, which I always do recommend. And I would mention something about personal or commercial use. I don't see anything in there at all. So you want to differentiate between personal and commercial use in your listings so people know how they can use them, okay? Um, I went ahead and opened this up in E-Rank so we can look at this. Uh, your visibility score is 29%. That is not good. Um, and I have a feeling it's because your title is just all over the place. And we'll see what your tags are looking like. So I'm just going to sort this by average searches. Home decor, kitchen, funny, kitchen art, instant download, dance, kitchen sign, black and white, gifts for cooks, kitchen printable, funny posters, home, housewarming gifts, kitchen party. Yeah, these are all over the place. And you can see that you have similar tags. Um, if you list kitchen here as a single word tag, that's not really going to give you much traction. You also have funny and funny posters. You can delete funny and just leave funny posters if that's the case, if that's the tag that you want to use. Get rid of kitchen because you use it in several different areas here. Kitchen art, kitchen printable, kitchen sign. Um, yeah, these need some work. I don't see anything in here about this kitchen is for dancing. So take that, this kitchen is for dancing, split that up into two tags. Maybe this kitchen is for uh, this kitchen is and then for dancing so two tags just like that there should be your first two tags because that's exactly what you're selling and then printable wall art because um, I don't see that anywhere on here definitely need some work on the tags you see these are all very high competition tags um, and so it's gonna bury you in the search results it's gonna be really difficult to find you in the search results with this with with these tags so I would definitely recommend getting into that tag planner and see if that will help you kind of narrow things down where you can get a good mix of high, medium, and low competition tags. So you have a good eclectic mix and that way you're more prone to pop up in search queries, okay? There's probably a lot of these listings on Etsy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up an incognito window and we'll go take a look. Let's see. Kitchen is for dancing. Kitchen is for dancing digital. Let's see here. What, how many pop? 4,513 uh, results. So you are competing with 5,000 other people who are selling this, maybe digitally or not digitally. It looks like it's coming up with digital and non digital options. Um, so it's going to be really hard to find you unless. Um, you really optimize those tags, okay? So I do recommend that. 
definitely not seeing you on the, but do you see how everything is so similar looking? You really want to try to figure out what is going to set you apart from everything else, okay? And that's going to be the biggest thing. All right. So I would definitely work on the tags for that one. Let's see the second one here. Uh, live by the sun, love by the moon. This is a set here. I'm just going to like go through these real quick and you kind of show what that looks like. Your ratios again. Um, you have a few different mock-ups here. Again, this title is just jam slam full with keywords. Live by the sun, boho wall art, set of two, wall art, printable art, bedroom signs, home decor, black and white prints, and some downline. It's just a mess. Whew. So um, I would do live by the sun, love by the moon, boho wall art set. Uh, digital or printable boho wall art, uh, bedroom, home decor, and be done with it. That's what I would do. Something along those lines, right? Once you optimize that title, you want to copy paste it, put it in the description. I'm presuming that the per description is going to be the same as before. And it is. So I'm not going to go through that. But I did open up the Etsy uh, audit. And it does look like you have some visibility here, 62%. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, you definitely want to work on this title. And then let's go ahead and look at these tags here. Everything is high competition. Home decor, wall art, printable, boho, minimalist, bedroom, boho art. So boho art and boho are the same. You just want to try to combine some of these. Uh, boho home decor you could leave and then maybe like boho wall printable and then I, and I don't know, maybe get rid of boho art. But you can see that these are all such high competition keywords. Um, set of two is a waste of a tag, printable sign, instant download. You don't really need to put that in there because they know. Um, it's an instant download or they will know based off of the price and everything else bedroom home decor you might want to combine these together if it's not too many one two three seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen you could do bedroom home decor in one okay um, minimalist home decor may work as well um, you can combine some of these tags with what I'm getting at you need to the, the tags need some work as well. Um, you don't have anything in here about what this it actually is. So you don't have live by the sun or love by the moon in your tags, which you need them in your title and your tags as well as your description, even though Etsy really doesn't um, bank on description. Google does though um, to get that in here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go see if we can't find this or see what you're competing with. Live by the sun digital wall art. We have 3,878 results. Okay. Um, that's a ton. And I don't believe yours is going to be popping up on this first page. So you have to figure out, show me all sorts of crazy stuff, how you're going to get up on the first page of Etsy and figure out what's going to set you apart by the, uh, uh, of the rest of these. You see it's a lot of white on white in their promotional images. Um, if I'm scrolling through, like, what's going to make me stop? And honestly, like, this one here did because it's white on black. And this one here did because it's white on black. So it's just really different. Um, so you just have to figure out what's going to set you apart, right? I don't think that this is a bad effort. I think it's good, but you need to figure out what's going to make you unique and what your niche is. And I'm not really clear on what that is. It, you say stylish and affordable home decor. Are you focused on bedroom? Are you focused on kitchen? Are you focused on living room? Are you focused on the home in general? Um, what are you providing that is different than what other people are providing on Etsy? And that's what's going to set you apart from people. You really need to set yourself apart from everybody else because anybody can throw a bunch of text up on a screen. And I say that, but I do the same thing in my shop, right? I do the same thing. I do a lot of text-based, very simple designs. Um, I change colors, but uh, all of the things that I create are very unique. They're not like typical quotes that other people are also utilizing. So keep that in mind. I think your banner is fantastic. Your logo is fantastic. You may want to consider on your promotional images adding in a banner that says, hey, I provide this in PDF format, digital download, PDF, um, and stamp your logo somewhere. That way if somebody does pin your listing or it's found on Google, they know that they can come back and look for Burl Burlwood Home living um, on Etsy. Um, I always do recommend that. Definitely get rid of that trademark and copyright stuff. Your price points are good. Um, I wouldn't really change much of those uh, for, for the digital downloads. Um, 
you just have to figure out what that niche is. Definitely need to work on the titles and the tags because they're stuffed. Um, and hopefully once you tweak those, you need to wait a few weeks. Um, so Etsy can like recrawl all of those pages and see if it's increasing your traffic at all. But if you have any questions on anything, feel free to let me know. Drop a comment in the comments box below. You can head on over to the Facebook group and ask there where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. Um, and if you got something out of this video, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And like I said, if you all need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one.